you can judge a restaurant just by the layers of attention to detail. If the first thing you have is bread and butter, if the bread isn't warm or the butter's rock hard, that's a sure sign. But equally with cooking, the more delicate the flavour, the better the test of the quality of the kitchen. My name's Ollie Debu. I'm the chef and owner at Debu Bar and Restaurant. We're here in Fitzrovia. This is my neighbourhood. The yeah, best thing about Fitzrovia, you're in the middle of town. 10 minutes to Covent Garden, five minutes to Soho. Nice little squares, old architecture. Got loads of bars, loads of restaurants. It's a really fun vibe. It's a mix of people that work here, that live here. There's a lot of media, a lot of startup industries here, a lot of creative, a lot of advertising. And a lot of them come to the restaurant. We're here on the corner of Whitfield and Scala Street. It's Saturday night, we're here at my restaurant, The Boo. It's packed. I'm here downstairs at Oscar's Bar, it's a basement bar in the restaurant at Dubu. So I'd always worked in Michelin star places, you know, kind of learning how to cook. I knew I wanted to sell my own place and I couldn't do that working the hours I was doing. So I went to work in the nightclub for a bit. Oscar was behind the bar. Also it kind of introduced me to, you know, that food could be a bit more fun than kind of fine dining and quite formal. So I have a sort of similar ethos with how we create a drink or plate of food. You know, it's essentially quite restrained, quite refined, quite simple, but equally it's something that you can't do at home necessarily. If we had such little money when we set up, we were kind of forced to open early just because we needed some income. When we opened, the reviews were you know, really flattering, and uh, the demand snowballed. We're just going to Barnyard now, it's a two minute walk from Dubu. We opened up Barnyard so close to the booth, just so we could kind of babysit the restaurant. It was our first venture, you know, other than the kind of original business. We just wanted to make it as good as we could from the get-go. I grew up just south of London. With work, we went all over the place. If there's a restaurant that I liked, I just put my stuff in the back of my car, drove there, worked there, but always knew I wanted to come back here to set up my own place. We're here at Barnyard, 18 Charlotte Street, middle of town. We deliberately wanted this place to be a bit more kind of rough and ready, home cooking, kind of fast food, but no washing up. Yeah, Dubu is a restaurant that you, you would go to eat at every day. Hopefully this is. Cheers. So this is the uh, sausage roll that we serve it. Um, again, it's kind of like quite grandma cooking, but it's just homely, tasty, and just really well done. On face value, they look completely different, the two places. One's very agricultural, one's very urban, one's quite top-end, one's, you know, everyday place. For me, there's fundamentals in both. The staff are young, friendly, we've got a cool playlist. I'm obsessed about the details, whether it's the cutlery or the interior design. Both places, there's an inherent rawness. We don't try and be perfect. As soon as you open your own business, it's demanding and there never seems to be enough hours in the day, but equally, it wouldn't change it for anything. Uh, so we were in Fitzrovia, we just crossed Oxford Street down into the deepest, darkest Soho, and we're outside Bar Italia. It's my favorite place, grab a slice of pizza later at night after work. It's a place you go to late at night after a club, usually starving by this point and uh, ready to bury your face into pizza. Working in Michelin star restaurants doesn't mean that you can't enjoy simple food. It's not the best in the world, but a three in the morning is pretty damn good. So we've done Dubu and Oscar's Bar and Barnyard in Fitzrovia, they're my places. 
been into Soho, just had a dirty pizza at Bar Italia. Now I'm done. Thanks a lot for hanging out in my neighbourhood. I'm out.